Good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome everyone to tonight's planning committee on Tuesday, the 5th of November 2024. I'd like to remind all members that the meeting is being recorded and will be uploaded to YouTube. First item on the agenda this evening is apologies. So far, I've had apologies from Councillor Sam Smith. Are there any other apologies? No? Brilliant. Go on to item number two, which is minutes of the last meeting on the 8th of October 2024. Can I have a mover and a seconder, please? Councillor Turner for move and Councillor Clark for second. All those in favour? All those in favour of the minutes of the last meeting, please? Thank you very much. Before I ask for declarations of interest for anyone, I'd like to read out the following. I confirm that under section 33.2 of the Localism Act 2011, the Act permits an authority to grant a dispensation from either or both of the restrictions not to participate and or vote on a matter in which they have a pecuniary interest. Planning Committee members have received a further dispensation for applications relating to the future High Street project for a period of two years starting from the 5th of August 2024 until the 5th of August 2026. Having said that, are there any declarations of interest? Nope. Fantastic. Item number four, applications for consideration 4A, applications for consideration 0220-2024-278 Market Street, Tamworth, B797LR. I'd like to hand over to Andrew Davis to present his report. Thank you, Chair. Um, good evening. Um, this is a uh, presentation for uh, planning committee uh, to uh, cover uh, application 0220 2024, which is a listed building consent application for roof and window repairs, demolition of external staircase, boundary wall and brick houses, and temporary covering to roof of outbuilding um, at the rear of 27A Market Street, Tamworth. Uh, as you can see from the, uh, the, the image there, um, the uh, property that we're talking about is uh, a short distance away from this building um, in between Market Street and the uh, rear of the, uh, the castle. The uh, area in question where the um, pr proposed works would take place um, are to the rear of 27 and 27A um, in an area which is not accessible um, from uh, any of the, uh, the public areas surrounding. Just gives a little bit more detail on the um, uh, the location of the outbuildings um, that are to be removed, and the arrows indicate um, the directions from which the photographs, which you'll see in a moment, were taken. So, on uh, on this image, um, you can see uh, five photographs, which show the uh, a very poor condition of the uh, the various outbuildings and walls to the rear of 27 and 27A Market Street. Um, the photographs were taken during a uh, site survey that was undertaken in, uh, in the summer um, when a structural survey was undertaken um, to assess the, uh, uh, the, the situation at those properties. For some reason, we're not moving on to the next slide yet. Okay, thank you. So um, you'll see this in the uh, in the report as well. The uh, the proposed works um, that are uh, due to um, take place under this application um, relate to uh, roof repairs to the building, um, sealing off of holes in the roof to prevent ingress of vermin and water temporary repairs to uh, dormer windows, uh, repair of timber windows, temporary covering of the roof um, to a small rear outbuilding to prevent further water ingress, demolition of an external staircase tower which is structurally um, unsound, um, and reduction in height of uh, a boundary wall which is in very, very poor condition, um, along with uh, removal of um, brick houses at the rear. Essentially, all of these works that are proposed are works that are required to make safe the building that is there um, in, its, uh, in its current form. Mm. 
The application um, has gone for consultation to Historic England, um, Staffordshire County Council Historic Environment Team and Tamworth Borough Council's Environmental Protection Team. No objections have been received from any of those uh, consultees. Um, however, the Historic Environment Team at uh, the County Council um, have uh, requested a condition, um, as have the Environmental Protection Team, and no public responses or comments have been received. Looking at the, um, the key planning issues, uh, we consider principal, character and appearance, highway safety, heritage and amenity. And I apologise for the uh, slides being uh, particularly wordy. I'll, uh, I'll summarise as we, uh, we go along. Um, but essentially, the key thing to take from this first slide is that the proposed works um, under this application are fully consistent with um, the policies relating to this part of the town centre um, and in particular the, the, um, the heritage considerations of policy EN6 protecting the historic environment of the Tamworth local plan. In terms of character and appearance, uh, the proposed site is comprised of uh, 19th century buildings that are Grade 2 listed and uh, the proposed work areas, as mentioned earlier, are entirely to the, um, the rear of those buildings. Um, as noted uh, with the structural survey, there have been concerns about the structural integrity of the uh, parts of the, the building for some time now, um, which resulted in uh, a detailed survey being undertaken in the summer, which has in turn produced the uh, proposed works that are being applied for with this application. Um, and it's important to note that the report stated that it, it's not intended that the report covers all of the necessary repairs uh, to make the building suitable for occupation um, and that the items raised in the report are the minimum necessary just to, uh, to make it safe and um, uh, structurally uh, sound. The, um, the submitted application seeks listed building consent to make the building, not to make the buildings habitable therefore, but only to undertake those essential works arising from the survey. The, uh, the proposed works include demolition and replacement of an existing uh, dilapidated external staircase. Um, they, uh, they include uh, works essential for ensuring the safety and stability of um, other parts of the building that would, uh, would remain. Um, and the pro proposed works would alter the appearance of the site in a very modest way um, but with very little external visibility um, of those, uh, those modifications, only in fact visible from the higher parts of the castle. So overall the character and appearance of the proposed works and the building thereafter um, would, uh, would not impact upon the street scene um, and it's considered that the uh, proposed works are therefore in compliance with policy EN6 design of new development, uh, sorry, EN5 design of new development and policy EN6 protecting the historic environment. Moving on to highway safety, um, the, the key issues here um, are twofold. One is that the proposed works themselves are all in the rear of the buildings um, and not within any of the, um, uh, the public areas of Market Street uh, or anywhere else that the, that the public can access. Um, and in terms of highway um, activity during the, um, uh, the works, we've been in uh, discussion with the applicant, Speller Metcalf, who have advised that um, vehicle activity would be absolutely minimal um, with, this with this work, um, potentially just one vehicle a day being um, used to uh, bring materials as necessary to the site, typically first thing in the morning. Um, thereafter, there would be no impact at all in terms of vehicle movements um, or indeed any need for hoarding off areas of Market Street in front of it. So the, the actual external impacts uh, on Market Street of the proposed works uh, are, are absolutely minimal. Um, also, just to add, the, um, the demolition work that's going to be involved in, in this um, 
because of the nature of the buildings. The recommendation from the structural surveyors was that it all be done by hand. Um, so there's no heavy machinery involved um, and those materials that are reclaimed from the buildings as they are today, the intention is that they will be stored on site. It is possible um, that some may be removed to the contractor's main compound um, if, if absolutely necessary, but the intention is that um, most of those materials would stay on site and therefore uh, the implication being that highway activity is uh, absolutely uh, kept to a minimum as a consequence. The um, Tamworth Borough Council Conservation Officer um, has liaised with, with both Historic England and Staffordshire County Council Historic Environment Team um, uh, about the uh, proposed uh, works. And the key thing there is that Historic England have stated that they have no objections to the proposal subject to um, it being conducted um, as proposed and that uh, because of the location of the site right next to the castle walls that if there is any potential work to be done which actually touches the castle walls at all um, then completely separate to this planning application process, there would be a scheduled monument consent process to be undertaken. Um, and Historic England have stated that provided any activity that needs to be done through that consent process um, is done, then they are uh, content with the proposal as it stands. The, um, uh, the County Council's Historic Environment Team um, have taken a, a similar view and um, they have also said that they are content with the proposal as it stands, subject to um, a historic building record being made of the structures that are to be removed or to be um, altered uh, at the rear of 27 and 27A. Um, and they've requested that a condition be imposed upon the development on any approval um, to ensure that uh, that, that is done. So, in essence, with respect to um, the, uh, the heritage aspects of the proposal, because the works, um, uh, to reiterate, are simply making safe what is there and not seeking to fundamentally change um, the, um, the nature of the, uh, the site, um, the, uh, the proposal is considered, having received no objection from the consultees, uh, to be in accordance with uh, the local plan policy relating to um, the uh, preservation of the historic environment. Finally, with respect to um, amenity, the, um, the proposed site, as I'm, I'm sure you're aware, is um, to the rear of uh, a number of buildings that are currently unused um, with, uh, with nobody residing in them or immediately um, around them. So, uh, consequently, there is relatively little scope for um, disturbance off-site as a result of the, the proposed works. The fact that the works are to be um, undertaken by hand um, without the, the use of any sort of heavy machinery um, only um, helps in that process. Um, but even taking that into account, uh, our colleagues in the Council's Environmental Protection Team have recommended uh, that uh, a condition be imposed to limit working hours to ensure that um, no activity happens in uh, um, times that would be considered antisocial. So on that basis, it's considered that the proposal uh, meets the uh, amenity requirements of policy EN5, um, design of new development of the local plan. So moving on to the conclusions, uh, the proposal is for a listed building consent for various works. Um, balancing the con considerations of the proposal, it's deemed that the uh, proposed works are essential to the integrity of the um, structure uh, at the host site and are appropriate subject to undertakings to ensure that the historic nature of the site is adequately recorded 
and taken into consideration. The, um, the key planning issues related to heritage and amenity matters um, are considered um, uh, to be uh, acceptable with conditions and that the, uh, the proposal overall um, meets or exceeds the, uh, the policy requirements established by the local plan. And therefore, uh, the proposal is uh, recommended for approval um, subject to conditions. And uh, if you're interested, we have the proposed con uh, conditions, um, which uh, we have the standard conditions there um, about commencement date and um, plans, um, and then uh, construction activities, um, which uh, uh, are limited to particular times. And then finally, the wording of the um, uh, proposed condition from uh, Staffordshire County Council's historic environment team um, in respect of uh, historic building recording. So, uh, committee, the, uh, the proposal is therefore recommended um, for your approval with conditions. Thank you very much for that, Andrew. Right. Having said that, are there any questions on this application? Councillor Foster, please. Yeah, just a quick question. At the start of the presentation, <coughs> two of the repairs were temporary. I, don't, I, I just wondered why they were temporary repairs rather than... I think the answer to that is that... Um, all of the repairs that have been um, put forward are urgently required repairs um, or, or actions to be taken. Um, some of them may well prove to be um, in the, the, I think the, the particular item that you refer to there is a temporary roof cover. Um, these are things that... Yeah, so th 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 these are um, areas of work that are likely to be touched upon again with actual development to the site in future, which would only come forward um, with uh, a future planning application. So there are works that would, would be done short term that um, may not last on a permanent basis um, because they would be wrapped up in, uh, in future development, which is not does not form part of this application that would be covered by a future application. Anna, you want to jump in? I was just going to add that what we would describe this application as is an enabling application um, that's just starting the process and we're trying to make the building watertight because it isn't um, and we're trying to exclude vermin because we've got quite a serious problem with pigeons getting in there and causing even more destruction so some things are temporary in nature just to close those gaps and make it um, uh, just a, a appropriate to stop the deterioration even further um, and, and that's the temporary nature of it. Thank you. Thank you Anna. Any other questions? No? Oh. Oh. Councillor Claymore. Thank you, Chair, and thanks for the presentation. Um, on page 11 of the presentation, it refers to the de demolition and replacement of the existing dilapidated external staircase. Throughout the rest of the report, it just talks about demolition and not replacement, and I wondered why that was. I think, if you don't mind, I'll hand over to Anna with that, because I suspect she knows more about that particular element than I do. Uh, it, it's because the, the demolition is to make safe the building and it's got um, some foundation, some structural failure there, so it's unsafe to be around it. So that obviously needs to come back. But in terms of any replacement or new build or um, how the site will be redeveloped as part of the programme of works, that will be in a future application um, where we will look at the building as a whole and deal with it uh, comprehensively in that way. Yeah, thank you for clarifying that. I just don't think it makes it very clear within the report. Um, so, thank you. Any other questions? No. We'll move on to discussion. If anyone wants to make any comments on this application this evening, 
No, okay. Right then. In that case, the recommendation is that we approve the application with the conditions. I'm looking for a mover. Councillor Kingston and seconder, Councillor Lewis Smith. All those in favour? That motion is unanimous and carried. Thank you very much. Right then. Agenda item number five, updates to committee from planning offices. I'd like to hand over to Glenn Baker Adams. Uh, nothing formal, Chair. Um, so looking at December, um, probably looking at another future high street application for the Castle Gateway scheme. Uh, all being well. Um, afraid the college application redevelopment, probably looking at January for that one. Um, and from my memory, I don't think there's anything coming up. Anything? Oh, yeah, Browns Lane, as I did mention, I think, in the previous meeting, that I'll probably dis dissect that a bit further for members. So, yeah, I'll probably do a little, public, a little presentation on that in December as well. So that's probably about it for now. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Glenn. Right. In that case, then, I'd like to thank everyone for attending this evening, and I close the meeting at... I'll check. 18.